morning guys today is Wednesday March 13th okay and I am up on Pine Creek haven't been up here in a long time and um, my uh, closing statement or paragraph that I had in my last video I said that the water levels were dropping well I think that jinxed us because <laughs> we just got pounded with a little bit more rain right after that video so the levels went all up, uh, back up again. And um, looking on the USGS sites, it seemed like everything from Penn State South, um, even down to us in Reading um, and down to Harrisburg, everything was high again. So, but everything above Penn State didn't get hit that bad. So that's why I'm up here at uh, Pine Creek and Maybe I'll get a chance to get over to Kettle. I don't know, but I'm at Pine today. I'm supposed to meet a buddy up here. He's not here right now. I'll get here in about an hour or two. And um, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 22 degrees, it, but no wind. No wind, 22 degrees is very tolerable. The water levels right now are around 700, which I think on the other USGS scale is around a 2. I don't, I don't know exactly, but it's very weightable, fishable. Um, just spoke with the guy I was walking his dog and he said he was pounding them the other day with um, spinners because this area here is all tackle catch and release um, from um, slate run down to black walnut bottom I guess it's about a two mile section and um, so eh, fish are actively feeding okay called up to the slate run tackle store yesterday they said there are stone flies on the water so let me show you what I'm using okay I'm gonna turn you around put you on my hat Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous here. Okay, let me show you how everything looks out here. Uh, I guess this is the north side over here. The north side still has some snow on it, but not much on the road side. And I'm down below Slate Run. And then um, that is the rails to trail uh, path over there. And um, okay, so let me get you on my hat here. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I am using for an attractor today first. My top fly is a golden stone I tie up. Okay, there you go. It's got some yellow lively legs on a big gold tungsten bead head on it. That's a size 10, 3x long. Okay, then coming all the way down here because they said they had stone flies on. And last year when I was here, I hit the stone flies with one of my buddies. And um, this is a um, uh, I call it a black Frenchie, okay? Um, basically, it's got a black bead head on it, and um, it has uh, black, um, well, it has a pink UV uh, hot collar on it, and then it's just black dubbing for the body with a silver rib, and then I have um, some black CDC around it, just make it look somewhat like an emerger. Okay, it's on a Cottis Ben hook. Okay, it's, uh, that one's barbless. And then down here, I got a standard um, hair's ear, size 16 on a standard hook um, with the yellow lively legs on it. And so I'm going medium color, dark for the black Frenchie. And then I've got my golden stone up here as my tractor. And so I'm just searching right now to see if I can get anything on the... Uh, um, you know these you know I'm, I'm uh the guy said that, that he was you know when he was uh getting them on the spinners he was getting real nice sized brownies so that's what they stock in here too so and there's there's some you know a lot of wild fish up here too so uh let's go in i'm not going to go out too far at first got some nice green color to it gorgeous okay and um so let me get my mittens set up here Okay, it is, I got some hot hands inside my mittens too, hopefully keep my fingers a little toasty, but they said the weather's supposed to go up into the low 40s today, so <laughs> let's hope the weatherman's right, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to go out too far, just at the beginning of this green water. I got my 10 foot Sage X out here, five weight. Um, didn't want to bring my 
I might use an indicator. I don't know. Right now I'm not. But I may use one later on. I'm going to loosen up this drag. Okay. And um, so let's just go out here. Not too far. Show you my first couple casts. And you know my routine, guys. If I get into them and it seems pretty predictable, I'll get the hits on for you. If not, I'll put the camera on after I get the fish on. Okay, get the hook up. So, hey guys, got my first one on. I'm very curious what I got him on. Slow hit. Okay. Wasn't He didn't smack it really hard. Okay. Feels like a decent fish though. Don't see yet what it oh I think he's on. My golden stone. It looks like he's on the golden stone. Real nice fish, too. Really nice fish. Nice. Now well, I've only been fishing maybe 10 minutes, so that wasn't that bad. Not that bad. Let's get him in. Oh, golly, look at that. He's nice. Good 16 inches. And he is on the golden stone. He is on, you see that golden stone sticking right out of his mouth. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he might go 17, 18 inches. Hoo hoo. God lordy. Oh, probably 17, but super fat. Super de duper fat. Oh, look at Got him. Put him back in the water. Okay. He's got a real nice hook jaw on him, too. <sighs> There's my golden stone right there in the net. Okay. Got her out. I'm going to her out Okay. Oh, God. oh, good lord. Who <laughs> wants to go? Look at that hook jaw. He's 17, 18 inches. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> How's that to start the day? Man, that's going to be a tough act to follow. But boy, that's what I'm talking about. Did you come up? Up north central PA for up to Pine Creek for beautiful, beautiful German brown. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay, guys, I got another one. Looks like another nice one. Boy, this one hit it really soft, too. Really soft. Almost just looked like a, a slow snag. And, uh, so let's see. Man, my eyes are ice. Oh, he got off. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, that one. I don't know if that one I was, might have been. No, oh, that wasn't on the hair's ear. The hair's ear is there. Hmm. I don't know what it was on. None of my flies got any junk on them, so. Oh, man, that was a nice fish. That was a nice fish. I saw that fish come up to the surface when I first hooked him before I turned the camera on. He was he was a good, I don't even know, big. 16, 17, 18 inches again also. Wow. Okay. Let's get back. 
my third one on here. That second one got off. Let's keep this boy on. Ah, uh, nobody's on yet. This spot that I'm in is at a tail end of, of a pool. And I usually do better at the middle to tail end of this particular pool I'm in. And it seems to be doing the same, like having the same luck as I've had before in it. And um, nice fish. This is, looks like, I can't tell, but it might be on the uh, black Frenchie. I can't really tell yet. I think it is. I see my, yeah, I see my, um, yep, yeah, yep, it's on the black Frenchie. And this is, it looks, I think it's a ring. I don't know, it's a brownie too. No, it's a big, oh, my net's frozen together. <laughs> I can't get my net off. Ah, that's my net. It's frozen, the magnet. <laughs> I gotta land this one by hand. Okay, you see that black Frenchie hanging right out of his mouth. Nice fish though. Oh man. This is a nice fish though. This is a good good 14 inches. <laughs> I can't believe my net's frozen. Okay, look at that fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh sorry. Okay, 14, 15 inches. Look at that. Gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, man. So, I don't know what that second fish was on, but first one on the Golden Stone, second one on the Black Frenchie. So, uh, just keeping this rig on so far. And I uh, didn't get anything yet on the hair's ear, but I don't know. Maybe that second fish was on the hair's ear. I don't know. Hey guys, Whew. number four, still at the tail end of this, end of this pool. This, this is awesome. And all these are all just nice fish. Just gorgeous, nice fish. This one looks like it is on the golden stone. Okay. And um, this one hit middle of the drift also. And uh, And this golden stone is on a size 10, 3X. 3X long. I'll give you another show. A peek at it. Um, when I land and this guy, I did. <laughs> this is only about four minutes, four or five minutes after I released the third fish. But uh, I did get my net <laughs> freed up. So, nice fish, gorgeous fish, gorgeous fish, golden stone yet, oh, although he's got, he's a little tangled up here, and oh, my net's frozen, come on buddy, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, oh, nice, nice, look at that, good, 14, 15 inches again. There's that gold stone sticking out of his mouth, okay? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There he is. Put him in the water there. Get a good look at him. Okay. Okay. Absolutely gorgeous. Whoo! Nice. Okay. Got this on hook. Okay, here's the golden stone. There it goes. Okay. There Okay, there it goes. Hey guys, on these rocks here, there's a couple of those big cased caddises. So I opened one up, and uh, looks like a creamy, a dirty, creamy um, 
caddis larva, although it could be a um, a crane fly larva too that looks that big. That, that's a it could be a crane fly larva, and I do have crane fly larvas like that, dirty creamy color with a dark black head. That's about a size um, twelve. That's big. That's a big. That's a good size twelve. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to change up my rig a little bit. I know I've been catching them on the, uh, I'm going to take off the uh, um, hairs here. I'm going to take off the hairs here. I'm going to go with the, uh, move my uh, black Frenchie to my, as my third fly. And put my second fly is my crane fly larva. So, okay, see how that works. Okay, guys. I had to adjust my rig. I thought I had a a number one split shot on but I didn't it was a number four so um, I switched I took my number four off I put a, a number one on a little bit bigger okay get it a little bit deeper slow it up a little bit you know adding weight does add some drag to it but if the fish are on the bottom you gotta add weight to get it on the bottom you know let the water and the nymph present the way I mean you just don't have any choice about it you know your this water is <laughs> i'm probably fishing in a good three to four to five foot of water and you got to get it down to where the fish are and this is my um i call it my uh crane fly larva okay that's on a marvelous hook too and it's like a dirty cream color with a dark black head and it has a black tungsten bead head on it and then i got my black frenchie here that i've had on i caught my second fish on or the, or the third the second one got off and I still have on my golden stone okay there's my golden stone there and um, the antennas are a little boogered up okay so let's give this a shot because of those big cream colored larvas that are in the the, uh, the cases uh, those twig and stone cases and um so i i last year i didn't really use that uh cream caddis that much uh cream uh cat, um crane fly larva that much and um i don't think i caught any fish on it yes last year but i didn't really use it that much last year but the year before boy back home on the tully and the manitoni creek golly i was killing on that thing i mean killing on it for a while there and um so you ever see a a lot of crane flies on our water boy put on a crane fly larva they do work They're, they look big but but boy they work <laughs> and um like i said they're big they're size 12 to, well it depends how big your crane flies are but you know 12 14s <laughs> and uh so I expect to be hanging up on bottom a little bit more now because all three of these flies have a bead head on them. And plus I put on a slightly heavier split shot. So I do expect to be bouncing on, bouncing on bottom now. Hold on. let this drift go through my buddy's here now hey okay guys back into him oh let's see what we got this boy on my eyes <laughs> my eyes are so iced up and this oh this one looked I don't know this one oh I can't bring it in anymore oh man look at my eyes up there gotta put my rod in the water Gotta put my rod in the water. <laughs> I can't bring my line in. That's it. I'm gonna have to ten carat it. I think this is a. Here's my line right here. This is a rainbow. Nice big rainbow. Look at that. <laughs> I should run the. <laughs> Come here, right? Who was one? He was on the golden stone. He came off right there, and I, <laughs> I had him hooked with the other fly on the tail. 
Nice rainbow. About 13, 14 inches. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Had to take care of that boy. Bring him in by hand. <laughs> My eyes are so iced up. And um, so look at that. Absolute gorgeous. And like I said, he was on the golden stone. Okay? Okie dokie. Hey, everybody. My buddy Brett is here. He's maybe been fishing about 15 minutes. And he's got one on. And um, looks like a decent one, too. Looks like a nice one. We're going to come down and... Ooh, that's a nice big head on that thing. Beauty. Oh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that boy. And that's on the green mop fly? Yeah. Ooh, that's every bit of 18 inches. Oh my god. Way Thank to go, you, buddy. Thank you. He got him on the green mop oh, fly. He oh, and he's got a nice hook jaw yeah, too. He does. Boy, that's just like the, the here, I'll hold your rod for you. Right. Look at that. Look at that, everybody. My gosh. What a beauty. Yeah. Hoo hoo. Nice. Super de duper. Look at that. <laughs> wow, we he look a he look like a twin brother to the first one like right. <laughs> it looks yeah. Because I said remember my when mine had a little hook jaw like that too, but boy that is nice. That's a big, big head on that one. Okay, people. Put him back in a few minutes after he gets a picture of it. Guys, okay, he's got a second one here. Oh, it is gorgeous. Pretty. Here, I'll hold your rod again for you. Okay. There you go. Well, they could. Oh, yeah, they got Love real deep red. Hooks. Yeah. Uh, what happened there? Looks like he's a good 13. Yeah, look, at, yeah. look at that. Look at that. Adipose. Look at that spot on there. How all those red. Yeah. All the reds. A lot of red. Wow, we. Nice. Got him on the green mop fly again. <laughs> there you go. Fish are hitting today. You know what that green mop fly imitates, don't you? A larva? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get a picture of that. Okay, thing. there you go, peeps. We're doing good here. Okay. Got this boy on the swing. Feels like a heavy fish. Feels like a heavy one. He's staying deep on me. I have no idea what I caught him on yet. You know what? I'm gonna try to get him on the reel because he feels big. Yeah. Fighting like a sucker. Well, we're a big brownie. <laughs> I don't think I ever caught a sucker on a... Ooh, nice fish. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. If I can bring him over here out of the current. I think he's on the golden stone again. Oh, I think he's foul hooked now. Or is. No, no, he's not. 
He's hooked in the mouth, but they getting tangled up too as he's flopping around. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. He hit on the swing. Now he's man. One time I see his head pop up, then I see his tail pop up, then I see his body pop up. Oh, he got off. Oh. <laughs> Was that brownie? I think, yeah, right there he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I, when I was first fighting him, he was, his head was out of the water. I was bringing his head out of the water. And then it looked like his tail was out of the water. <laughs> then it looked like his body was out of the water. So he was getting tangled up, however he was hooked. But he was a nice, nice brownie. No bigger than 26. 26. <laughs> and, and, and there you go. That was on the swing. Oh, well. <laughs> that was a little bit of fun. <laughs> okay, guys, I picked this boy up on the swing. Now we have on my golden stone and my black Frenchie. I don't know yet. Let me see. Get him in. Feels like a decent, decent fish. Got him on the swing. My last three fish all got off. He's on the golden stone. Yep, nice brownie here. Looks like a good 15 inches. Yeah. Uh, no, this isn't that slow yet. The slow water's down here, uh, down further. This is still pretty fast. There you go. Nice, look at that, guys. Okay. Yeah. Good 15, 16 inches. Nice. Skinny though. <laughs> oh, well, I'll go on strong. Not that I haven't got into fish in the last hour. I got into fish, but they all got off. So, let's try to keep them on now, okay? Picking up, look at this caddis case. We have been getting them all, <laughs> like on our drips. We are just cleaning them off constantly, these caddis cases. So, it's okay. Okay, man. Let's get back at it. Okay, guys. It's been a while, at least an hour, where I got into a fish, but this guy hit on the swing. Oh, jeez. Oh, what he is. Looked like a brownie, then didn't look like a sucker, too. hooked on the back. I don't know. Yep, I think he is. Yep. Right. Well, I don't know which one he was going for. I got on a mop fly and my Isonychia. Let me 
he's caught on the ice of Nicky, yeah. But I don't know where he's hooked. Uh, he's caught on the tail, I think. He actually hit twice. Probably 17 inches. Okay, look at that, guys. Oh my god. That's a big one. Oh crap. There we go. Alright. Woohoo! 16, probably 17. Nice. What's that? Yep. 